All right, back to the QB. Let's see what we can do. He Let's do something different this time. Something unique, something fresh. You know what I'm saying here, chat? Perhaps red, aggressive, red. Oh, no, no, you know what? Let's do the land. I'm gonna do the land step. I'm gonna try to do all non-basics. That was the step we wanted to try today. All non-basics. So we take fetches and shocks absurdly high. And then any other land after that, a little bit less. Ooh, that's a brick. <laughs> Not taking Nykthos, because I'm going to assume we're going at least three plus colors. So let's go with Consecrated Sphinx here. Nykthos. Nykthos was a yikes. Okay, Seachrome Coast versus Terramorphic. I think I'll take the Seachrome here. Temple Garden, I can already get it with the Arid Mesa, perfect. Oh, you're right, Terramorphic is absolutely a non-bow. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That would be hilarious if I took it and ended up running it in my deck. <laughs> uh. I'm allowed, it's just I'm trying to draft all the non-basics. Ooh, Reflecting Pool. Alright, City of Brass. These type of lands, Reflecting Pool, City of Brass, I take very high, I feel like. But, like, there will be lands that I pass up, obviously. Oh, sure, one basic per fetchable. Basic, yeah. Like, if I pick up a Solemn, I'm gonna want basic of one variety. Yeah, maybe I can have, maybe I can have one of each basic. The one, uh, allowance. Definitely not taking Bitter Blossom here. I guess Brawl's Expertise could also be good. Yeah, let's take the Karn. Thanks, Judge! Needle Spires. See, that's one of the lands that I'm considering just passing up. But I don't really have a good card I want to take instead, so... That's fine, I guess. Sun Petal is going to be a little bit sketchy unless I pick up a lot of uh, Forest Plane subtypes. So I think I'm just going to go with the Lyra here. Sorry, Nykthos. Nahiri? Seems good. Is this Crixus Cube? I mean, right now it looks like I am not playing much in the ways of black, nor do I have any other black fixing, so. Finale is a card I will probably play, though, if I end up playing much black. These are not the lands we're looking for. I guess Blood Crypt. It's already fetchable with Needles or Arid Mesa. Harvester would buy lots of time. Yeah, only if I have enough ways to crew it. Sacred Boundary. Nice. Sundering Titan in my deck? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Signet's not... I mean, it's currently quote-unquote double off color, but... Ooh, I like how Arid Mesa can find all of my duels right now. It gets green, white, red, black. Arid Mesa only... The only color Arid Mesa doesn't get is blue. I'll take the Sig, that's fine. Okay, some more fixing here. Glacial Fortress, Spire Bluff Canal. Wandering Fumeral, Clifftop Retreat, Wrath of God. Take the Wrath this time. I do still need to get playables. O-Stone, perhaps. Oh, Marsh Flats, beautiful. And Averdent Catacombs, we'll take the Marshy. 
There's a Golos? Okay, I'm in. I'm at 10 lands right now. I need to pick up 7-ish more. But Harbor is not one of them I'm looking for, so let's take... Deafening over Ral, probably. Colos into Wrath! Mortars here, seems good. We're gonna be five color Jeskai, I guess. I can run the Eldest Reborn. Negate wield. Nice. Clifftop retreat wield. Well, hmm. <laughs> uh, the issue I see here is that I still need six. No, that's right. I can still get one of each basic. Never mind. So we can we can focus on the on the non creature spells now. We all agreed that I could play one of each basic. Ronos from for no Titan. I was trying to draft mono non basics, but I'm not gonna have enough playables if I do. I don't. It'll be close. Yeah, this is a stip. Fight with fire or spell skite. Is this deck even reasonable? It doesn't look very good. Bloodstained Mire. It's gotta be good, okay. Now we're at 13 non-basics. We're getting there. I guess I could try running this finale now. Braska for a green card seems good, all right. Take the black cleave now, yes. Ooh, we're gonna get some people to settle for sure. I'm so close. I'm so cl We're almost there. Dang, overground tomb looks perfect. Uh They need a hollowed fountain more than Celestial Colonnade. I'm gonna have to pay so much life for shocking and fetching. I needed some life gain. <sighs> Alright. Immortal Sun's very good, but it turns off so many of my cards. Yeah, can't run the Immortal Sun. I probably need to run 18 lands as well. Let's cut the stinky voice. And then there's no thought here. We just add all the lands and <laughs> submit. Here we go! We have to hope that we play against creature decks consistently, and that I draw my wrath effects. I almost want to draw, but we'll be on the play. Sounds fine. I'm going to lead with the shock lands, so I don't have to pay two life, even though I have a black cleave in my hand. Double blue is going to be issue. I don't actually know how much uh, colored sources of blue are in my deck, so good luck, have fun. GLHF. Reflecting Pool, City of Brass. I, I have at least a Sea Chrome Coast. Ghost! You want Ghost? What are you doing? Oh, and I do have a Spire Bluff too, yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Four blue sources. Did I get steam vents? I don't remember. Sucker playing basics. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Butterskull. Oh man, Nahiri's pretty nice. Let's us pitch all of our uncastables and whatnot. Hey, you're not supposed to have that too. I might actually need to just pee and Kira and Nalar next turn. El Toro! Thank you for the eight months. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pee and Kira and Nalar. Start pressuring their Nahiri. I can ultimate the turn after this one if I don't. Yes, she does. Alright, they can play their Batter Skull and whatnot. Sad news is his Batter Skull never gets tapped. Oh! I thought they were gonna kill a land or the Spell Sky. I guess I'm just gonna let that happen. I don't care if they kill a Thopter, that's great. Oh, they did patch, uh, bit, pitch the Skull, you're right. I almost want to get rid of their Noble Hierarch, too, because it's their only white source, and they've shown us multiple white cards, but... We might have a problem. Nahiri is going to wreck us, I think. I wonder if I'm supposed to be playing this Banefire. I really don't want to have to throw an artifact at Nahiri to keep it off ultimate, but here we are. Yeah, I'm going to say F it. I'm going to let them do their Nahiri nonsense. That one's a lot harder to do. Right, but I mean, it's not good. Ooh, I wonder if I was supposed to have attacked with the Spell Sky too, so I could redirect... Yeah, because I can't I can't redirect a spell skite. I should have attacked. Right? Dang it. That might have been a mistake. John John. Ewit. Ewit Resto. Oh no. Yeah, my deck has a hard time with opposing Planeswalkers. Dang, they remembered. Now they can get their planes. Sphinx is a good way to get back in this game, though. And clearly Nahiri didn't have something nutty to go get. Ooh, excuse me. Was it pitched Lava Coil? Okay. Uh-oh. That's not how a Johnny works, though. Oh god, Resto Hornet Queen? <laughs> Resto Hornet Queen, the dream. Oh, wait a minute. That's not bad. No. They do get to kill Nahiri, though. They attack everything at Nahiri, and then the Johnny can finish it off. I guess they leave one back. No, they don't. That's right, because they can just... Resto it. Yeah, and I don't want the Sphinx to attack Nahiri. That's still not very good either. Oh yeah, pitch a card. Give me two more. Pitch a card. Yes! 
Thank you. It's so generous. God, Nahiri on 10. Oh, the goalie. No, oh, too many planeswalkers. Stop. Stop. Maybe they resto in response, thinking that it can flicker and save. <laughs> My deck just has a hard time dealing with those walkers, right? Period. I can attack, but then Nahiri kills my Sphinx. Well, what other walkers do I have? Because I have some other walkers as well. I have more than just the Nahiri. Oh, the O-Stone. I have an O-Stone in my deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Where did these planeswalkers come from? I'm going to take five. Six mana stone rain. Doesn't seem ideal. Not only Ren, but the Johnny Vengeance would kill it too. This no, that's creatures. I need to draw the El the O stone. The O stone and then my lands can kill them. I guess I'm going to attack the Ajani. Their Nissa ult is not super relevant. If they want to resto trade with Hissing Quagmire, I also don't mind. That's fine. What a weird game this is. <laughs> okay, well, Karn, Exile, Nahiri, Consecrated Sphinx can attack. What did they do? Return to land? Oh, they returned Acidic Slime. Ah, and kill Golos, okay. I see, I see. Oh, they're, they're ultimating. That sucks. All right. Oh, stone and win, baby. Stone it and bone it. That ain't no stone. I can't really attack. They can just burn me out. Or rather, I can't play Karn. They can just kind of burn me out, I should say. They get to... Instant sorceries with retrace. Okay, that doesn't matter. God, O-Stone would be so sick. <laughs> A little late to the party there, Tree Speaks. All right, let's kill the Nissa here. Because I can Karn the Ajani next turn. Doesn't really matter if they ultimate Ren and Six currently. Okay, that's fine. So they have a duplicate and two unknowns in their hand. I don't know if I have any more fetchable lands with uh, Mesa. Oh, chat, I have an Ancient Grudge in my graveyard. I could have killed their duplicate, assuming I had open mana. Didn't Temple Garden get eaten? I thought Temple Garden died already. I 
I'm hoping Nahiri doesn't have another good target for them. Oh, they might they might have killed me then. Well, I don't die. But it's very damn close. I can't Lyra because they have duplicant in their hand. Yeah, I'm going to gain two life. So they emblemed? But there's no nothing in the graveyard to emblem. Dude, this is an absurd game. This is game one. They scooped! Yes, daddy! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> okay. Pick up the Karn. The Vraska still seems good. And so does the Nahiri. I think I still leave all the Planeswalkers in, even though I'm bringing in Sun. This didn't seem very necessary. Oh, that's true. We only saw one target for Grudge. Yeah, I could have just brought in Tarmogoyf. I guess. So this goes and gets... This gets something. I probably don't even pop it off yet. Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm casting Signet next turn, so let's not pay any extra life. Green, black. No, I already have the green, black. I need, I need more white. I need white for Lyra. Oh, I really needed to land, draw land next turn. I'm running 18 lands, right? Really need to draw land next turn. Oh, come on, land! Please! No! God! Jam Nahiri there, eat the courser, game over? Fudge! I don't want to lose to not drawing land again. Not like this. No attack. All right, I'm gonna Nahiri. The Sphinx did so much work last game, but I'm nowhere close. I got a Nahiri to find land. Hey, Skimmy! Thanks for the 24 months. They also had Acidic Slime in their deck, so it's... Even if I resolve my Immortal Sun, it's... They can still kill it other ways. Petrick, thanks for the 46 months. Well, if they have Slime, they're gonna just kill, like, the O-Stone here. Oh, they're Smorkin. They are Smorkin. Drag diddly, okay. Bold in the face of a O stone. Does this fetch anything? Blood crypt at least, right? Alright, so I let them go to draw, see what they're drawing. I don't need Temple Garden rights, no. Sorry, Nahiri. Sorry, Signet. <sighs> There's their white. Oh god, I need that freaking deafening clarion back. Oh god, all my lands enter tapped! Oh no! <laughs> I'm at one? 
they drew Batter Skull here. Oh god, maybe pitching that Deafening Clarion was a big mistake, especially since I knew I was going to blow up my rock. Oh god, I need to draw Fumigate again. Oh, never mind, we're just dead. Ah! Ah! Dude, if I had pitched the Karn and kept the Deafening Clarion, I would have wiped the board, been at 7, they play a Johnny, I can like Eldest Re... Uh, no, I guess they get to... I don't know, I punted that. I missed land and then punted. Feels bad. <laughs> Do I keep this? It's real bad. Of course I have two blue sources. We cast this in game one. <clears throat> Okay, one more land, please. One more land. Nice. Oh, yeah, okay. We have a turn four goalie. Turn four goalie. What do I need? I have red, white here. I have green, black. I do need to get a red for double red, so I guess it doesn't matter which one. Alright, this gets our first blue source. We're doing it! We're believing! Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Come on, deck. One more land. Give me a damn land. Land, 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 land. A few of our lands still enter tapped. Oh, I wonder if they tap Golos now. Or keep him locked. Because then if I draw a land, I can just activate Golos, which is pretty good. We did it. I still need to attack their walkers though, because we know they have ways to get rid of artifacts. Dang it. Watch them jam the slime now. I guess they could have already jammed slime with the knight. Hey, that's on a slime. Success? All right. Champ, second blue. Mm, I don't know if I can activate Golos anymore. I probably need to hold up removal. In fact, I might even want to just fumigate to play it safe. Oh, I could have cast Goyf. Whoops, I totally forgot. No, that was just a mistake. Simply a mistake, my friends. Hornets? All right. Well, now we get the Fuman and gain a million. This is game three. Chad, I was just setting up for the uh, Fumigate, clearly. Darn it, Blooming Marsh, not letting me cast... Sphinx this turn. Oh my god, the healing. It's so sexual. 
sexual healing. Yo, what's up, Spider-Man? Thank you for the two months. We got a match with this deck. Success. A GG easy. Boom. Add more blue? How? The stipulation is mono non basics. So, yes, despite the fact I have only like three or four blue sources, Consecrate Sphinx, A. Plus. Did I not get a Chromatic Lantern? I certainly wish I had. Or any other mana fixing for that matter. My god, I have Reflecting Pool, my best land, Snap Keep. I just need to naturally draw one of the blue sources slash play Golos and have it resolved. Rawl, rawl. Don't really mind them countering that. Oh yeah, City of Brass. Oh, that would be an amazing draw. You guys remember when Brawl was the Brawl Commander? Fun times. Pretty good too. Hopefully you don't have another counter. Now they discarded Faith's Fetters. You can't protect them forever! Why are we done, though? They haven't done anything. <laughs> you can't protect him forever! They really want that for all. All right, well. The problem with settling here is that I'm going to give them. Uh... Really? Oh, I thought they were going to bounce the signet. The problem is the settle gives them uh... white. Yo, Zemon Gutsen! So 52 months. Snapcaster counterspell now? No! <laughs> Alright, Deafening Clarion, let's go. Jesus. How do they ever win if they don't have Baral? Give me one of my Wraths. Uh, 18 lands I drafted, thank you very much. Come on, blue source. No! Wait, no, blue source, blue source! No! <sighs> Can still resolve Karanos. I imagine Karanos just wrecks them. Yep, I drafted 18 lands during the draft itself. And rise! Thanks for that 47 months. Come on! Blue land! Blue land! Take four next turn. Oh! Grudge target. <laughs> Pog. I hate giving them a card, but I have to kill their creature. I have to pay two to shock myself as well. Ugh. Ugh.
I need to do that, just in case I draw one of my Wrath effects next turn. Now they can't counter it with Glenelendra. Could also just be dead, though, to any removal on the spell Spellskite here. All right, deck. Let's go. You're too late! <laughs> oh. uh. hmm. All right, Voice of Resurgence in, Tarmogoyf in, Banefire in. Dupe out. Grudge out. Out. Just imagine a turn two uh, Voice of Resurgence versus them. Pretty darn good. Shocking was fatal. I had to. Did we do it? This is a turn two voice? Oh my god. <laughs> turn two voice, turn three goif. God the Shrine? Good, no Thoughtseize or Inquisition. Boom! Check me! Well, that's awkward. So many check lands. Yeah, nice counters, bro. You gonna pass with some counters open, huh? What's up? What's up? Counter this, I get a token, Tarmogoyf gets bigger. We know Voice is an all-star. They played how many counters against me last game? Three, four, five, ten? Fifteen? Yeah, that sounds accurate. All as planned. Ooh, maybe they Snapcaster block the Voice. <laughs> but then they would poop out another token for me if they did. Uh, nice counters, homie. <laughs> they totally did. They 100% had Snapcaster in their hand. Oh, that's great. The bad news is they get to Rift Wing my token this turn. So I, I played the uh, Spires instead of the Black Cleave. Um, I guess for multiple reasons. It means I don't get to activate Quagmire, but the Needle Spires is a better thing to animate, I think. Oh, I could have animated, you're right. I could have animated uh, Tap itself for the one more. Yeah, you're really... Really talking the truth now. Just tap out for another Dirtle creature, please. Just Solemn Pass, and then I can Finale and win. Mass Nips. Ooh, Mass Nips is pretty good. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Mm, mm. Six sideboard tech voice of resurgence. OP, OP. Is there any way I can win one more game? Probably not. <laughs> uh. Can't really throw it away. Well, I could... I could cast Voice here turn two if we rip it off the top. Alright, I am going to play the Blood Crypt now. Because even though we have a Seachrome Coast that will want to enter untapped, I can just play it next turn. And that way I don't have to... Uh, pay two life to shock myself on a... Following turn. 
I'm going to play it untapped now, even though fetch is also tempting there. This gets ten. No, this doesn't get temple guard. It gets over. Uh, yeah, overgrown. Don't really care if this gets countered. That's a big in. I think I'm going to go with Karanos here. Reborn's not bad. It gives him two three threes, and then I can try to resolve one of these other burn spells. Well, I'm under the assumption Nahiri doesn't resolve. The, the, the playing the Eldest Reborn is a setup, though. It sets me up for a future turn. To try to clear their board. Oh, Jesus, we're dead. Well, that was going to kill me anyways. Now they just animate Celestial Colonnade, hit me for 10. Dang it! Boo you! Boo you, you big poo-poo! Yeah, if they have the snap, we're dead too. Well, it's better just to try to resolve the Nahiri, right? Because Settle gives them one extra draw step. Oh, tap out for the Archive? No, there's no way. Oh, I don't get to draw an extra card! No! <laughs> All right. Flash and Snappy. Oh no, if they had Snap, they would have time warped in one already. Hopefully they just go for the Greed, Animate, Colonnade, and don't have their Spell Pierce. Oh! <laughs> no! No, you're kidding! Oh. No! Oh, it feels so good. Rest in pepperonis. Well, that was probably the worst possible matchup for us anyways. <sighs> we need to play against some stinky creature decks again. Museum's a sorcery. Oopity soups. All right, well, let's try to get at least a 2-1 with this deck. I would be very, very happy with that. Yeah, this was the mono non-basic stipulation. So I have 18 non-basic lands, all of which I had to draft during the actual drafting process, which means I spent 18 picks on land. My sideboard is a mere five cards. <laughs> is it the same person just asking the same question over and over? Uh... I'm not even going to pop the fetch. Unless they had played something that I need to kill. Alright, so we can get Temple Garden and Blood Crypt if we need to. Nice. Alright. So now we'll go ahead and fetch end of this turn. Oh, we're dead. to hear that, thankfully. Oh, I can definitely clarion. Clarion. Perfect. Give me the quagmire, because you don't want the wrath. Yeah! That's the debate. I actually want the land. I mean, I still want the Wrath, too, but... It's hard for them to play a creature, because I can just get the Wrath with Karn. Woo. Woo! Woof Daddy! Alright, I guess we're gonna do it, then. Begin. 
was going to Lightning Helix, but then we drew an Eldest Reborn. Easy game! We're playing against a creature deck! Yagi Yagi. <laughs> Wee! Says another creature. Can't sacrifice Yagi himself. Mana of champions, my friends. I'm just going to scoop. They know I'm too powerful. You think I want any of those? Hell nah. I want Mr. Karn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, go Los time. We'll get our reflecting pool. Easy game. Oh, it wasn't even close. Didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> I gotta change my pants. <sighs> Sideboard, no thank you. I don't know why I didn't spell Skype. That's the answer. Sideboarding is for chumps with actual cards to put in. Nah, the grudge will find a hit. The perfect hand for a perfect deck. That's what happens when you draft not 18 non-basic lands. I'm still not going to fetch, because I still want to draw lands, but... That will probably kill me if I don't find lands for the O-Stone to pop it off. Oh god, land please! Land to jam Eldest Reborn first? Yes! So much shock damage! Ow! <laughs> Ow. Owie. So, we get to do a cute trick here. No! Well, actually I don't know what they're gonna take. <laughs> Look at this Consecrated Sphinx in my hand. Doesn't even make sense. Zero blue permanent or zero blue mana. Three different type of wrath effects and another creature removal. Eh, damn it. I was gonna say we get to do a cute trick. Like next turn, Eldest Reborn triggers, they discard a card, I play O Stone. Then the following turn, the Eldest Reborn trigger on the stack targeting Obnixilis pop off the board. We do have casual redundancy here. Oh, they get to take one of my wrath effects. Fumes out. Oh man, if there was a way I could make myself discard this Consecrated Sphinx. Wait, what? Okay, that is an interesting play. I get to go like this. And then this permanently exiles the messenger. Hold. Ganti. Uh. Could be anything under there. <laughs> Hits four of my non-basics. That'd be pretty nice. Two winning with this deck is basically going ten and zero. So let's just win here, please. X Mage, but they're not killing Ob. 
just bait. They want me to lose the life. Well, I'm gonna draw. I'm keeping the deafening Claire in because I might want to give my spires lifelink. It's my thought. Although obviously if they play a bigger, scarier creature now, it gets awkward. Oh, they drew my Karn. They took my Karn, didn't they? Ah, they took my Karn. Damn it. I didn't bring in Banefire either, did I? Dang. I'm not dead yet. Slow your roll, chat. Okay, well, if they had Grey Merchant, they would have just killed me. I'm not sure what I can draw, but I'm gonna draw it. You win this time. <sighs> Little bit late to the party. I don't even know how many cards they drew off of the arena. It was a lot. Yeah, the sun's okay. They have Lily and Ob. I think my Planeswalkers are better than theirs. Correct, yeah, that was my... That was my Karn that they stole. <gasps> the green screen moved a little bit. No! Illusion, immersion, ruined. Oh god, we have the reflecting pool, but no. Now what am I pitching? Cliff top, I guess. Yes. Oh yeah, and the city. All right. We can cast anything in our deck. We have all the necessary colored manas. That's going to be slightly annoying. Bloodgast! Value, damn it. Value. Oh, no, 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 I should have exiled the signet! Can I control No! I should have definitely exiled their signet. Oh, they had an Elder Spell! I guess they were gonna get me anyways, right? Yeah, they were gonna get me anyways. <laughs> oh, mama. Well, that was a fun game. I guess I'm not technically dead. I mean, them blowing up two of my lands is real bad. That's the issue. I'm so far behind now. Although, maybe I just get to jam a uh, Elder Spell. Or Elder Reborn, rather. Oh, you have a Shinobi? Oh no, dude. No! My Sphinx! Wait, they didn't cast it. What? I don't know what just happened, but we're still very dead. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I give up. Oh, we might have been in the game had I correctly exiled their signet instead of uh, upticking Nahiri here. We might have still been in the game, for sure. Ah, well, GG's. G this channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.